<coughs> Lord have mercy. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. You know, sometimes we all feel like we're checking out, uh, but we can't do that because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, and in case y'all didn't know, uh, they placed Jesse in the um, psych ward at um, Cook County because after his um, outbreak, they was just like, uh-uh, we think that you're psychotic. So his brother uh, says the actor has been put into a psych ward within the jail. He says paperwork pr placed in front of his cell says he's at risk of self-harm and calling on fans to hashtag free Jesse and tag the county jail. Uh, the Cook County Sheriff's Office said Smollett is not in solitary confinement and is allowed substantial time out of his cell, but did not clarify what unit he's in. Um, it's allowed... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, it's, this is just crazy. On Thursday, um, of course, y'all know he was sentenced, and he, but he could serve just 75 days because uh, in Cook County, you only have to do half. So Smoller told his attorneys that he would get a harsher sentence than most people convicted of a non-violent a offense because he's black, uh, which is true. Um Anyway, um, he said his outburst was to ensure if something did happen to him, the public would know it was foul play. And that's a reference to Jeffrey Epstein hanging in a jail cell. Um, wow. So, again, they said he's at risk of self-harm. Now. If he come up hung or with his throat slit or something, then, you know, that would really be too much for the kid. I just tell you, it's just too much. Anyway, but that's not the main reason I, I um, the main story I wanted to really talk about. Here's what I really wanted to talk about since we're talking about mental, the mentals. This particular, um, segment again we have Kanye West who is ripping uh, Kim again for uh, you know the little girl North being on TikTok so I'm just saying and then he goes in on Deal, he'll be calling him a drug addict and things like that. And of course, uh, going into his pro black stance now. Here's what I, I wish I could say somebody could say to Con, uh, Kanye. And if his mother was alive, she'd probably say, Honey, this is what I felt when I broke up with your dad. You ain't the only person that's been in love and got your heart ripped out. Okay, I'm sure. If you sit down and listen, a lot of your friends can tell you that, ooh, ain't no pain like it. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, ain't no pain like having your heart broke. So you ain't the first, and you won't be the last. And you need to settle your ass down somewhere and sit down. And that's what you really need to do instead of threatening people, talking about anybody got something to say is a smoke. Well, I'm telling you, if your mama was here, that's what she would say. She would say, honey, this is what I felt when me and your dad broke up. And you said I moved to um, Chicago or wherever you said she moved, moved to another. That's why, because the pain was so painful. Okay, we've all been through it. It's called life, honey. And it's called breakup. Obviously, you ain't never been in love before. You thought it was a game. Okay, so it's not a game. Now you need to go sit down before you have yourself arrested. Okay, you'll be next. And then they'll be finding you in a cell somewhere. Now, 
this last uh thing I wanted to mention was um a mental breakdown that uh Naomi Osaka she had when a lady heckled her. And y'all want to know where she was at? She was at Indian Hills. And so for those of y'all who are not old enough to know, they treated Venus and Serena at Indian Hills um, like you would want to uh, treat a clan member. They were mean to her, to them. These They were kids. And I think it was Serena. Uh, it was horrible. Just go back and look. I think it was Serena that she couldn't believe it. And it, it actually threw her so far off her game. Be, but, but she won. I believe. <laughs> it's been a while, y'all. Look it up. I'm just telling you that Indian Hills is one of the most racist, racist spots on the tennis tour. So she was brought to tears by a heckler. During her defeat at Indian Wells, um, I know what they did. They started cheering from the person from another country when uh, the Williams sisters did they think Serena. They they was they was voting for the other person. Anyway, sparking an extraordinary, at times unpresented series of incidents in which the four-time Grand Slam champion was left in clear distress. Osaka, who was ranked 78th in the world after her third round exit at the Australian Open, was taunted in the first set by someone in the crowd yelling, Naomi, you suck. The 24-year-old who took a break from tennis last year to focus on her mental health went on to lose the match against Veronica Kodamatova, 6-0. 6-4. Hmm. And addressed the crowd afterwards to explain exactly why the incident had upset her so. The loser of the match addressing the crowd after a match is almost unheard of <laughs> in tennis outside of a major. Osaka was trailing 0-1 to Kutter Matova when the heckle came from the stands. The Listen to what they say. They say the Japanese star was visibly upset by the incident and instantly began to cry. She immediately approached the chair umpire to ask for something to be done. But the umpire explained that she didn't know who it was or could not take any action. As a result, Osaka asked if she could use the umpire's microphone during the match to address the crowd herself as it was weighing in on her heart. However, the chair umpire who sought the advice of the court supervisor denied Osaka's request, despite the fact that the 24-year-old who had tears streaming down her face promised not to curse. During the break in play following the second game, Osaka said, can I borrow your microphone? I have to speak to my supervisor. What do you want to say? I just want to say something. I don't curse. It's something from my heart. So, of course, she was denied the request to address the crowd. She said that giving a microphone to a player during a match was would be totally unprecedented. So anyway, she went on and lost her match. Although following a prolonged discussion with Osaka, Wood told the umpire, if it happens again, we're going to find them. We'll find them. Well, again, she went on to lose. And um, mentally, she's having a hard time. Um, she said, uh, to be honest, I've gotten heckled before. Like it really didn't bother me, but heckled here. 
I watched a video of Serena and Venus heckling here in 2001. If you've never watched it, you should watch it as exactly what it was. And she's right. I don't know why, but it went into my head and it got replayed a lot. I'm trying not to cry. Now, the reality was uh, the Williams sisters were heckled by fans at Indian Wells in 2001. Venus withdrew with a knee injury from her scheduled semifinal against sister Serena shortly before it was to begin. So when Venus and their father took to the seats to watch Serena in the final against Kim Clijsters, the, kid, the crowd began booing. And as the match went on, the fans jeered Serena. Richard Williams said that he was a target of all types of racial slurs. And the sisters boycotted the tournament for years before eventually returning. Osaka, who has openly struggled with her mental health and anxiety in the past, said that the incident with Serena and Venus got into her head. The two-time U.S. Open champion says she struggled with depression after winning the Flushing Medals um, in 2018 in a controversial game against Serena. Osaka then made the decision to forego her media obligations at the French Open last year before altogether withdrawing from the competition altogether. Her decision prompted many, um, prompted praise from many, and um, including Serena Williams, Stephen Curry, uh, Simone Biles, um, who also has her mental struggles. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, in a lengthy Twitter post, Osaka explained the pressures in an elite level athlete. So she went on to say, you know, the pressures that's put on them. And, you know, sometimes you need a break from that. But anyways, with that being said, hopefully uh, Naomi can uh, bounce back and get a little toughness now. Um, and sometimes, even though, you know, you got to, you really got a double whammy. Because at the end of the day, they're gonna boot. They're gonna do you like that if you're black, or they're gonna do you like that if you're Japanese, because you're not European. So that's some, you know, like you said, you had to deal with. So did Venus and Serena before you, and um, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. And that 6064 is not an indicative of what type of professional you are. So I'm going to go now. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. We will see you in the next video.